Hi, I'm Tamara with Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking. Welcome to our channel and welcome to our kitchen today. We're doing another wonderful, fun artisan bread. This is a cinnamon raisin artisan bread. And for you people that don't like raisins, the raisins are optional. But this is a really fun bread and it's fun to toast. It's really good toasted. It's just like having a cinnamon roll. And I have gone ahead and measured all of my dry ingredients and put them in my bowl. And I've got warm water here one and a half cups of water and two tablespoons of oil and I have cinnamon and sugar and yeast and flour in here and you do not want your water too warm because what that will do and all you bread makers know this that it will stop your yeast from working because it's too hot and so this is just like nice and warm it's not too hot and I'm going to go ahead and put my cup of raisins in here because we love raisins my grandchildren don't love raisins I don't know what it is. Most kids don't like raisins or nuts. They don't know what they're missing. Subscribe and hit the little icon button, which is a little bell. That tells you that every Tuesday we put out another wonderful, fun video. And boy, we've got some good ones out there. This dough is going to be sticky. But when you go to knead it, you can always add a little more flour to it because you can see I've added the water to this and it is going to be quite sticky. And what we're going to do here is I'm just going to mix this real well in this bowl, form it into kind of a ball, cover it with saran wrap or a towel and put it in a nice warm area and let this double in size, which it takes about an hour and a half. It depends on how warm your home is. And then we are going to bake this today in an enamel Dutch oven in our oven in the house here. We've also done it up in the mountains when we're out camping, but today it just works really great to do it this way. Okay, I'm gonna keep mixing this just a bit here. Get this formed into a ball. And then we're gonna let it raise. This is a fun part. You just get your hands into this and knead this. Well, not really knead it because you're not going to be kneading this yet. Just work the flour and the raisins in. This is such an easy bread. My goodness. I make all different kinds of artisan breads because they are so easy. Of course, most of us in our lifestyle, especially a lot of you young working mothers, this is a really fun, fun one to make because it's so easy. Okay, I'll keep working this and then we'll let it rise and we'll get back to the next step. So our next step is, as you can see, this doubled in size. And it takes about an hour and a half. It depends on how warm your home is. Of course, we're down here in beautiful, sunny Arizona, so I'm not going to complain about it being a little chilly today. Because we talked to our daughter in Montana, and it was 36 below today. Us, us mighty chilly, I'll tell you. Okay, now what we're going to be doing here is I'm going to need this about six to seven times. Just again, I told you, you know, this dough is rather sticky. And you just kind of knead it and work it just a bit. Keeping those raisins in. You know, sometimes I put chopped walnuts in this too, which is really good. But you know, whatever your preference is. Just like I said, if you don't want to add raisins to it. Because a lot of people don't like raisins. Got to kind of poke those raisins back in. There we go, and then you brush the flour, any excess flour off. And now I'm gonna put this in our prepared Dutch oven that we've lined with parchment paper. And that is a really good tip because when it's done, you just lift it out by the parchment paper. How easy is that? And then your, your cast iron is clean. So we're gonna go ahead and place that in there. And then I'm going to put the 
the lid on it and I'll just help keep it warm and let this double in size again and then we're going to bake it at 450 for 30 minutes and then we take the lid off and then bake it again no not 450 excuse me 425 450 is way too hot and anyway then we bake it for 30 minutes at 425 take the lid off and bake it for another 10 minutes and it turns this beautiful golden brown what a wonderful crust okay we'll see you when this is all done you know, I also want to tell you about our website. It's wyomingdutchovencooking.com. If you go to that website, we have a wonderful user's guide on telling you how to take care of cast iron, all kinds of cast iron, and a free recipe book, and all different kinds of spices and barbecue sauces that we love to use, and these wonderful Dutch ovens. This is an enamel Dutch oven. Of course, they come in all different kinds of colors, which is great. They're so easy to use when you're cooking inside. You cannot use this outside over coals or briquettes. It's, you know, strictly for inside in the oven. And now I'm going to show you this beautiful bread that we've got done. It came out just beautiful. And, of course, I told you how we line it with parchment paper. And then you just lift it out by the parchment paper. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then it just slides right off. Just we'll throw that parchment paper away. We'll let this cool and slice it and enjoy it with some wonderful butter. And, of course, our motto is great food shared with family and friends equals great times. Until we meet again, thank you.